getting started. Now that we've learned about various parts of the interface, let's move on to how to get started. When you open Touch Creator and start a new project, this is how it will look. Your first step is to add the content by importing assets as we've already learned. To do so, just drag and drop the asset files into the interface. Now that we have a bit of content, we can start adding and structuring components. You can add components to the multi-touch scenario by dragging them from the library onto the stage. They will then appear in the Scene Manager. A scene component is automatically added when a new project is created, so you're ready to start adding components right away. Let's give our scene a background. We'll start by adding a layer onto the scene to use as a background. We've already imported an image for the background, so now we can just select it from the drop-down menu. It's that easy. In this basic scene, we want to provide two videos and an image slideshow for our users. We'll start by dragging the first media player component onto the stage. Now we're ready to make some adjustments to its properties. In the layout properties, we can make changes to the appearance and position of the component. The touch behavior properties determine how the component will react with the user's touch. We want this media player to remain in place and at the same size so that the users don't hide them. To do this, we'll just deselect the draggable option which, by default, also makes the component unable to be scaled or rotated. Now let's add content. Drag the video asset from the library into the playlist section. Now we can decide on other properties, such as autoplay and loop, volume control, player controls, and more. Since our media player doesn't scale, we'll choose none for the volume control and set the volume to 80%. These choices are all based on the interaction that you want to create for your scene and offer you a high degree of control and lots of opportunities for personalization. For the next movie, we'll use a different method for creating the media player. We can simply drag the movie asset onto the stage. This creates a media player component automatically. By default, the media player component has the original size of the video asset. That's a bit too big for the scene, so let's scale the player a bit. By right-clicking on the size property and dragging, we can adjust the value. On the right, we have the aspect ratio locked so that the player scales proportionally. The last media player is a slideshow. We can set this up in the same way, but we'll first need to select several images and add them to the stage. The media player will automatically recognize the image assets and create a slideshow for us. This basic scene is now ready to go. Now you understand the basic workflow for Touch Creator. But don't forget, you can interact with anything as you are creating it. Try things out and take a hands-on approach. Just switch to the edit mode and back to the preview mode again to reset the scene.